Okay, so hi guys. Today we are going to be changing salt to sugar. And it's going to be really fun. So let's read the introduction. Then I'll tell you what it's all about. First, I'm going to tell you something. I have two examples out here. I have an example of Pez, which is an, an example of something sugary. And I have some Ritz crackers, which is an example of something salty. So today we're going to be changing salt to sugar. So let's read the introduction. Then I'll read the materials so you can do this along. Then we'll get into it. Most people can tell the difference between salty foods like potato chips and french fries and sweet foods like cake and cookies. Ah, cake and cookies. Oh. <sighs> and no one would pour sugar on their french fry or mix a large amount of salt into a batch of cookies. But what if you could change salt into sugar? That would be mad. Now, the materials you need, I'm going to read these. That way you can follow along and see if you, at home, can change salt, salt to sugar. One small plate like this. A teaspoon. Salt. Flour. And you're going to need some water because I'll tell you what it's for later. Pour the salt onto the small plate. All of it. Okay, let's just pour it on. Oh. What's this? I'm going to spread it out because I don't want like that much salt in my mouth. Now... Dip a wet finger into the salt. Okay, so we're gonna put your finger in the water. And we're gonna put just a little salt. That definitely put too much on there. Um, ah, I swallowed. <laughs> I will definitely put way too much salt on there. Pour the flour onto the salt and mix the two together. So I'm gonna pour like a lot of it because I that's a lot of salt. That's probably enough. Okay, let's just do this. Now it says mix the two together. I'm just gonna do this. Right. And I now I'm gonna mix with my finger. Now, take a little scoop and put it on my tongue and let it sit. Then you can taste that. Mmm. It didn't really work. I might have put too much salt in there and I might have put too much flour in there, but it did not work. Yeah, you guys may want to try not pouring all of it in there because So, now I'm going to read the science behind the magic, which it didn't really work, so let's just read it anyways. This is an example of a chemical reaction. Uh, when flour encounters your saliva, the wet stuff in your mouth, it gets converted into sugar, which has a sweet taste. And can then be digested and used by your body. This process will happen naturally even without salt, but the presence of the salt only speeds up the process 
so magic happens more quickly. So we're going to stir it a little bit more and see if that works. I like getting messy. But the, but the moment I get my hands messy, my face always starts to itch. So <laughs> it's probably good. So scoop a little on. Just a little this time. Nope, oh, don't work. I'm gonna go. Okay, that was so gross, but. Okay guys, so we have to wrap it up. Um, it, I, there's another video waiting for you on Tuesday. This video was gross, just, yeah. So hope you enjoyed me being grossed out. <laughs> Cause <laughs> this is gonna be a funny video. Bye, stay happy, stay healthy, and stay happy.